now uh, we are prepared to speak to over 100 top companies in Baltimore, philanthropic organizations, corporations, as well as some of the, um, the professional athletes that surround this Baltimore community. This emergency operating plan that we came up with is inclusive of everybody investing in this effort to bring down the murders. We got the number one movement in the, in the city, one of the biggest movements in the country right now, all aimed at the, uh, the gun violence in Baltimore, but we need the economic uh, uh, assistance to really make this thing happen. We're not going to dream our way out of this. We're not going to wish our way out of this. We have to uh, gain or develop the economic blueprint for turning these communities around. So as we announced this morning, we bought the properties in East Baltimore, so we are a step up uh, in that department for opening our East Side uh, Emergency Operating Center. And then what we're doing is we're sending these request letters. We're asking for $20,000 from each of these organizations to assist us in opening up the five emergency operating centers in Baltimore. We're going to do our job regardless. You know how I am, family and friends. We are going to get the job done regardless by any means necessary. But it, it, it can be very, very helpful if the corporate community of Baltimore can assist. The individuals are doing their thing. We've had over 500 people donate to the 300 Men March movement since the riots. You know, we're doing our part. Some people have donated $10. Some people have donated $10,000. You know, the individuals are doing their part. Uh, the city is doing their part. You know, we're working these deals and we're getting these properties from the city to expand. So now we just need the corporate uh, community to do their part also and to, without the red tape and the hassle, to give us the investment we need to really push this thing forward, to hire more youth, and to open up these emergency operating centers. So we got companies on here like Target. We have uh, Clayton Baker Trust. You got General Motors. You know, everybody that's here in Baltimore, um, we're reaching out to. And we're seeking, again, an investment of $20,000 to contribute towards the emergency operating plan. That plan is on our website. It's detailed, the budget the uh, uh, operating strategy uh, at 300menmarch.com. You can view the proposal if you need. So we're just going to wait and see. But I'm doing this so I can say we've done it. We've reached out. We've asked. We, we put ourselves out there, and we ask for the support from everybody. Who helps? I don't know. But as long as we can say we did the asking, okay? But we have to do what's necessary to reduce this gun plague in Baltimore City next year in 2013. So find out how you can play a part. Uh, I'm sorry, I said 2013, 2016. Because right now in 2015, we are almost upon 300 murders. We're not going to have that next year in 2013. Play your part. <clears throat> I, why I keep saying 16? I mean 13. I don't know. 2016. I think maybe because 2013 plays in my mind because that's the year that we started the movement. We've made a lot of progress since. Our goal was in three years to have a movement of 300 people engaged in these streets, and we're almost there. Continue to follow. Continue to support. Thank you to everybody. And we'll keep you updated to see what the response is from these companies and organizations. www.300menmarch.com. Follow us, support us, join the movement. Thank you.